All right, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to my first ever save in the full game of FM21 Football Manager 2021. It has finally been released. And of course, as I mentioned on Twitter over the past week, I think um, I'm going to take over Puskas Academia, a team in Hungary, only founded in 20, um, 20, in 2005. Um, uh, we uh, they won the second division in 2013 and 2017 and finished runner up in the cup in 2018 as well. So a lot of history to be made and we're gonna be making that in this save, or at least I hope so. Um, let's just start right off by ripping off the bandaid. I had recorded an entire episode with the first game of the season and the first Europa League game as well. And then when I went to edit it, I saw that it had not recorded any of the damn sound. So instead of uh, talking over that and doing a post calm, I thought, well, then let's just do the next two games live. And turns out that the first game is, is against Ferenc Varos, which is the best team in Hungary, uh, according to the season preview. Um, so what I'm gonna do now is uh, quickly take you guys through the matches that we played before this. Right here, we lost or draw, uh, lost or drew the first five friendlies. That we then beat our second team and AZ as well. We drew the first two league games and we lost to Motherwell in the first qualifying round of the Europa League. Motherwell, of course, being a very good team from Scotland and their their quality was just too much for us and we have been drawn against uh, Vak in the first round of the Hungarian Cup. I think that's all you need to know about the matches. Uh, we are in 8th from the 12 teams. Uh, every team plays each other 3 times, so 33 games in total. Uh, when it comes to registration rules, you have to register a minimum of 15 players and a maximum of 25 players. Uh, no homegrown rules, but also no exceptions for youth players. So anybody who isn't registered cannot play. Which is going to give us some difficulties when it comes to youth players and giving them the game time they need to uh, improve. So that probably involves us learning out a lot of players or um, making them available for the second team or the under-19s. So that's going to be something that we're going to have to find out how we are going to make uh, the registration rules how to use them in our advantage that's probably going to take either one or two seasons maybe even longer but of course we hope to do that as quickly as possible looking at the transfers uh, we've bought one player i'll show you him in just a second we've loaned out three players radic komaromi and doge uh, we've loaned them all out we haven't sold anyone we haven't released anybody on a free all of these happened before we took over uh, the same goes for these three uh, happened before we took over and the only thing we have done is by Erik Kushnir, a right back who can also play as center midfield and center defensive midfield. I won't use him that quickly as center defensive midfield because he isn't that tall, uh, but he is a pretty good center midfielder and a pretty good right back as well. We bought him from Debrecen. He's only 20 years old. You're great. You're Korean. There. I can't even speak normally. Ukrainian, but his second nationality is Hungarian. Um, valued at 575k, and we bought him for uh, 250,000 now, 500,000 over three years, and then 250,000 when he has played 50 league games for us, uh, which is gonna take a while, probably at the end of next season. So that were all the transfers as well. So I've done a complete speed run through everything that you need to know um, when it comes to logos I haven't downloaded the logo pack I couldn't um, find one that I enjoyed before the launch of the full game it is gonna be implemented into this series in the future I can promise you that uh, but it's just not gonna happen for this first episode quite yet um, I'm not sure when it is uh, gonna be used but you'll guys see that eventually so Without further ado, let's just get straight into the game against Ferenc Varos. As you can see, they are in first already, uh, beating Hornvet 4-0 and beating Kisvarda 2-0, where we have drawn our first two games. 
This is going to be the starting lineup. Todd in goal, Shonoki, Meissner, Hajiev and Van Nief in the defense. Kushnir, I just said, not going to use him as a defensive mid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get Knezevic out of there and he can actually play there pretty nicely as well. And he is a lot taller when this screen will go away. Thank you. So Knezevic as defensive mid, Kushnir and Pulsek at midfield. Baluta and Schlagfeer at wing and uh, then Antonio Munch at striker, the low knee from Osiak. Of course, he, why is he... Why are his attributes going down? He is actually a pretty good player for us. Uh, he has done pretty well in the first couple of games. Let's hope he can do more of the same today against Ferenc Varos. Um, let's just get straight into it and maybe during the game I'll think of more things that I had, that, that I had already explained in the first first episode that had no sound as I said. Uh, it was actually a video of 27 minutes as well. That's one of the reasons why I just couldn't bring myself to do a post calm of 27 minutes and probably uh, screw it up the first time you do it it's always well most of the time the best and I couldn't um, do it again because I thought uh, I thought that the quality the quality would just be too low and I thought it was better to do it like this so you missed the European uh, game which I do really apologize for uh, that does bother me as well as much as it bothers you probably. Um, oh yeah, what I wanted to say is that over 80% of you are not subscribed and I really, it would really mean a lot to me if you did. It really, it really helped the channel out as well and of course it, re it would help you out as well for not missing future episodes of this series and any other series in the future as well. Uh, so that's something that I really do want to uh, want to get out there uh, it's only one click it's very easy um, so I say why not you can follow my videos in the future and check out all of my previous videos there is still an IOX beta save going on as well for just a couple of more episodes uh, so, a l so a lot of cool stuff on there already and in the future more to come and there is a very big chance here for the opposition and luckily they had a couple of shots but all of them were blocked so it's still nil nil the first half has by the way flo uh, gone by so quickly so we're already in the second half we do have the ball here but Ferenc Varos are all over us. Oh yeah, another thing I wanted to get out there is please, please feel free as Robert Muck. That's a very good player, isn't it? I recognize that name. I don't know where from, but I recognize it. Oh, he played at Zaynit actually. Man City as well. Damn, they've got a good player right there. But what I wanted to say is that please, please feel free to help me out with the pronunciation of either the team names or the player names or any words in Hungarian that I have no clue whatsoever on how to pronounce it. There is the 2-0 Miha Blazic. Eventually Ferenc Faros uh, find the gap to break us down. Scoring two goals in 15 minutes. Hopefully we can hold on to this and not get battered too much. We get a corner kick here. And actually a good chance but we had it just wide of the goal. Only 15 minutes left. 10 minutes now. If you exclude injury time, of course, still 2-0, which I think isn't a too bad of a result. We are predicted to finish third. We were predicted to finish the third qualifying round of the Europa League. And we're predicted to finish, the, uh, to, finish to reach the quarterfinals of the uh, Hungarian Cup. As Alexandru Balucha, the right winger, makes it 2-1. Which actually gives us something to build on for the next match. A 2-1 loss away from home against the league leaders and the league favorites as well. It's not too bad of a result, I would say. I'm actually, I'm not happy with it, but I am content with it. Could be a lot, lot worse than that. Of course, sad to get zero points from this. Sad to get our first loss in the league as well. But they are a very good team. Again, I've said that so many times now, but they are. So it's not a disgrace to lose 2-0. 
So the next game, I'm gonna see you guys for that in just a second, is in 12 days time against NTK who are now in 4th, but let's take a look at the season preview, they are predicted to finish in 9th. Just newly promoted side, having beaten Hornvet as well, I think everybody has beaten Hornvet almost. Now they've, they've beaten Uspest, but we are playing MTK in 12 days time and I'll see you guys for that match in just a second. And here we go for the second match, um, there has been a, a new transfer that has come in, Patrick Demian from ZTE, uh, an arrival from us, he is a 22 year old goalkeeper, he is uh, pretty much the same quality as our first team goalkeeper right now, but this guy is just a little bit better in every aspect and has more potential as well. The only downside is that he can't be registered for the league until um, the 26th of November, I believe. So he is going to be at the club for two months without being able to play a league game for us. But when he does be, uh, when he is able to be registered, then we will, and he will be very important for us as well, I believe. We have brought in as well uh, Reggio Shihanto from. Um, what are they called? From Fer Ferenc Varos, uh, of course our biggest rival I think in this series for the coming uh, seasons at least. He is going to join us at the end of the season, he is on loan now at, at ZTE. 19 uh, year old winger, very happy that we got a young player in and also Hungarian. So couldn't be better, also look at that potential 5 stars. And he's already pretty good looking at his attributes as well. And the last player that I just confirmed, I believe. Uh, let me go back a couple of pages. Where are we? There we are. Um, oh no, I haven't confirmed it yet. But he is probably going to accept it. Adam Pinter from Debrecen, an 18-year-old Hungarian winger as well. He is going to join immediately and he could and he would be available to be registered immediately as well so very happy with another young Hungarian player coming into the club this is going to be the first 11 Tot in goal Shonoki, Meissner, Hajiev and Nagy in, in the defense again not going to use uh, Van Nief there but Urblik at defensive mid Van Nief together with Pulisic at uh, midfield Slavir and Knezevic at uh, wingers and Baluta at striker because Antonio Munch is a uh, is injured. So those are the eleven names that are gonna do it for us today. Well, hopefully they're gonna do it for us today. We're of course we have to find that out in about ninety minutes time. Hopefully I keep checking if my sound is recording as well. Luckily it still is, so I don't have to do it for a third time. So, let's get straight into the game. We are in 8th position. They are in 4th, but we should be a, the better team here. Let's see if we can prove ourselves on the pitch for once as well. We do have a throw in here. Shonoki to throw it to Van Nief. Gets it back, plays it into the box. And Knezevic with a huge chance, but he blows it. And the goalkeeper can pick it up very, very easily. After that, the highlight doesn't really lead to anything anymore. At least it looked like it, but now MTK have a chance here on the right side. Put it across, but it's headed over and wide. So 15 minutes played already. It's a very even game until now. Uh, let's hope that we can get the upper hand in it. And hopefully get more goals than them as well. Already half an hour gone, not a lot is happening. As you can see, now we drop down to ninth place even. But of course, if we get one win, we'll probably be up in fifth or fourth or something like that. So you can't take away too much from those league positions, of course. As you can see here, if we do um, beat them and the other games stay like this, we overtake both Bucks and MTK and these two as well. So we then move up to 5th indeed, uh, like I said. So don't take away too much from the league standings right now. Of course, this is only the 4th game um, to be played in this season. 
So of course it's all going to be very very close together. It looks like it's going to get to another draw. I hope it doesn't. I hope we can get the upper hand. Adam Pinter is now actually playing for MTK against us. They haven't got their goalkeeper anymore because he is already at our club even though we cannot play him. He is at the club already. Let's get a few subs on the pitch. Um, let's get Spandler in there for Nagy. Kuznir for Van Nief and Baluta out for uh, Vanacek. And hopefully these three players can make the difference in the final 20 minutes. I'm actually curious to see if in this league we can make 5 subs even. Because then I will take off Slough here. We can. Alright, so that's a good thing. So let's get the two wingers off of the pitch as well. Let's get in Lrindon and Latifi and Tamash Kis. Um, you know, I can say what I want. But I don't know a hell of a lot about these players. So I know probably as much as you do. If there are any um, Pushkas fans out there with uh, information about the club, about the players that will be interesting or fun to know, please let me know down in the comments below as well. Uh, I, I, would be, I would be really, really interested in that. So, I completely talked over it, but the game has ended. Full-time whistle was gone, we are past the match, it has ended in a nil-nil draw and we are still in ninth position so the board are probably not too happy with us uh, being knocked out of, of Europe as well. But of course it has only been four games, I believe in the team, I believe we can get up again. We just have to get, the know, get to know the players and the tactics and the formation and everything of course. That takes time, maybe... Maybe in a couple of games time, hopefully we can beat uh, Vak, but maybe in a couple of uh, weeks time we begin to gel more and begin to learn the tactic more and we begin to pick up a couple of more points than we are doing right now. So when it comes to the next episode, let's see, I think I'm going to do these two, Kishvarda. And uh, Feyervar, Feyervar in second, also a very big rival just below uh, Ferenc Varos. And then Kisvarda just below that game as well. Hopefully by then we will still be in the cup and hopefully we will still have a job. Most important thing of course. So this has been it for now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm so, so sorry that I couldn't show you what I wanted to show you. Uh, the live game, uh, the first game of the season and the live game in Europe but you know sometimes you have those kind of things happen and you know you have to deal with it and I was disappointed at first but you know accidents happen me that's just a learning moment for me that next time I know that I have, to, I have to pay more attention to that thing that I missed this time and make sure that my sound is recording but thank you guys so much for watching Please leave a like and again subscribe if you haven't already. As I said, about 80% of you have not subscribed. So please do. It really helps me out and I, it really means a lot to me as well. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the, for the second episode of this Save with Puskas. And bye bye.